Anything is possible. It started with a dream. Our passion made a difference and built a family. We've Hello, you're with Libby together. from LibbyStamps.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. And today I did a Facebook Live, but yeah, thanks to the NBN it decided to freeze. So I decided to go online and do a YouTube video of my planter box that I'm doing. Now, this is um, the pattern for a card in a box. And I've cut it 23.5 centimetres by 15 centimetres and scored at 7 centimetres. And then on the long side, I've scored at every five and a half centimeters so you get um, a little tab at the end which is about one and a half centimeters wide clip that off and um, join the the box together then what I've done to create the planter is I've cut the three sides off and I've just left the back now this corrugated bit is uh, thick very vanilla and I've die cut the scallops using the die out of seasonal layers so I did that first and then cut the lengths to eight centimeters then I popped each one into the corrugated embossing folder and ran that through my big shot then I've just come in with um, a sponge and some crumb cake and gone over each piece. And then I've glued them on to the box and I've glued one on to the back. Now this rope and the knot come from the smooth sailing dies. So there's a rope in there and a knot. So I've just cut two of those and glued them on. And glued the knot on so it looks a bit sort of rustic and a bit more like a planter box now today I'm using uh, butterfly gala and Daisy Lane and the bundle now the bundle you save 10% on if you buy it as a bundle and it's a great bundle you can buy the normal Daisy punch separate it's about $38 Australian but buy this as a bundle it's it's just wonderful to use now the butterfly gala what I did with the butterfly was I stamped it in memento on very vanilla and then I've just come in with a sponge dauber with petal pink and um, colored the wings and then I've punched it out with the butterfly punch not very well I might add so I'll show you a trick all right so this side's okay so I'm going to come in with a bit of post-it note and bring back in my butterfly punch and I'm going to slip this inside like this and the post-it note gives you like a little handle to hold your butterfly with and then you're just going to jiggle it around till you get it where you want about there just want to take a little bit more off there and punch down and you can take your post-it note out and then just take off bit of post-it note that's left on your butterfly and it's been punched out a bit better all right so that's one trick now if you've got a small piece of card and you haven't got a handle do the same thing with a bit of post-it note I'll just clean this one up and Come in and hold it whichever way you want. Might go that way. 
um, with the medium daisy punch that comes in the bundle just punch that daisy out and because you've got that handle it's easy to position and there's your daisy and you've got that handle to use for another bit so I just keep that all right so I've already gone ahead and prepared quite a bit of this um, garden box as you can see so now that will stand up just bend this forward a bit so it gets the idea it's got to stand up and we're going to add some daisies to it now these daisies are quite heavy because what I've done is I've um, popped four daisies together. So I've done a large one, another large one, a small one, or a medium one, and another medium one. So some of the daisies I've got already are quite heavy and I've got them done in Highland Heather, Petal Pink, and balmy blue and they're all stamped on very vanilla cardstock and I went ahead and added the butterfly to the back of the box and I just used a glue dot so what I've done is I've cut some window sheet strip in one centimeter lengths I've also got some thick very vanilla cardstock which I might use for these thicker daisies to add them to the garden bed or the flower box. So I'm just going to add a glue dot to the back of each daisy clump and then add some very vanilla cardstock and I'm just going to cut that shortish about there add it to another one cut it off add it to another one cut it off now before I add these daisies I'm just going to add some leaves now I've gone ahead and already punched out some leaves using the leaf punch but I did want to show you a bit of a trick to getting a vein down the middle use your stamp and pierce mat and pop these leaves on onto it And then just bring in your scoring tool or you take your pick tool. So I'm just going to use my scoring tool. Just use the finer end and just score in a vein. Now veins aren't straight so they need to be a little bit curved and curve them the way of the leaf so that leaf's going that way that leaf's going the other way and this one's sort of going straight up but I'm giving it a little bit of a curve and I've lost one somewhere here it goes All right, you can do the same to vellum and with vellum you get a lovely white line so I've punched out some vellum leaves as well and you'll see you get that nice white line in the vellum that gives you that vein effect so just use this stamp and pierce mat and a scoring tool or you take your pick tool and 
add some veins to the leaves so it makes them look a bit more lifelike. Alright, so now I've also punched out some sprigs using the sprig punch and just on the back of these just going to add some leaves using glue dots love my glue dots so just pop it on the back on the front of your leaf because your leaf is going to go on the back of the flower and I want that to come in there right. and I can probably add a sprig to that one on that glue dot so there we've got one flower done add another glue dot put this one in a different position add a sprig and then on this one as well I think I've used up all my leaves now might have to punch some more right. put this one over here and add a sprig all right so all we need to do now is add these to our garden box and that's what I wanted it to look like um, more like a garden box than a card in a box so just add now these little strips I've added in here are eight and a half centimeters long by one and a half centimeters wide scored at each end at one and a half centimeters and I've just added them with glue dots so add another one and you can add them on a bit of an angle if you want to and the third one all right now there are those now I'm going to add a butterfly now you don't want it to be any higher than the back of your box if you're going to post it so I'm going to come in with my window sheet that I cut to one centimeter wide strips and the very vanilla that I've used is also one centimeter wide more glue dots add that to the back of the butterfly like that now I want the butterfly to go about there so I'll cut the window sheet about there so nothing's really measured after you've done the box it's all sort of a bit of a a guess and add a couple of glue dots to the window sheet and then add that where you want it so I'm going to add that about there all right now I need a few more flowers I've got a couple of small ones here in um, blushing bride so I'll just stick them together Oops, don't know why I put glue on the front of that wipe it off in a second all right that's what fingers are for aren't they Now this one can go on some window sheet. I might put that there. So again, in with some window sheet strip and a glue dot. Add it to the back of the daisy. Now this one can take window sheet because it's only light. I'm going to cut that off about there. 
add another glue dot to the bottom and I might add um, a sprig behind that in, I've done these in um, vellum and add that to the inside of the box got some more here in um, Clipso Coral so I might do a big one and a small one together using liquid glue my other favourite adhesive so this Daisy Lane bundle is great you can buy it in my online store Go to libbystamps.com, click on the shop button and yeah, have fun with Daisy Lane. Alright, I've got some more leaves here in vellum. Glue dot on the back. Some window sheet again. Uh, that one can go maybe there in the front. Only needs to be short. And you can see our garden is coming together quite nicely. More leaves. Might have to move that butterfly. Window shape. Strip. In the back, might add that one in here. Okay, so here's our daisy garden box. I'm just going to move this butterfly. I think he can go to the back, so I'll just peel him off. Easier said than done. No, it's going to stay there. Alright, so there's our daisy garden box. I could probably add more daisies, but for the time being, that's our box. So, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and don't forget to check out my Live with Libby on my business page. And shop with me by going to LibbyStamps.com and clicking on the shop button. And we've used the Daisy Lane bundle today as the basis for our garden in a box or our garden box, our window box. All right, thanks so much for stopping Everybody by. Bye for now. And doing what we love.